Hello everyone, it's your girl Kimmy and welcome back to another episode of A Beacon of Light. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it in Jesus name. Today guys, we're going to be talking about putting labels on yourself and not letting the world's labels define you. Uh, for instance, there are good labels, there are also bad labels, uh, intelligent, smart, you're beautiful, um, just fantastic. But then there's also the bad ones where they say you're clumsy, you're not, you're not um, good looking, oh my goodness, she's fat, she's skinny. There's so many labels out there that if you choose to listen to them, because that's what the world sees, that you will be hurt. It may even see um, it may even sink you into depression. I just know that um, I even for myself that I used to put labels on myself, and it got me to a point where I I didn't feel worthy. You guys, I didn't feel loved at times, only because I saw myself as not being attractive, to the point where I actually had a hard time even looking at myself in the mirror. I I didn't. I wasn't in a place where I'm now with my relationship with God. And I think as I grew um, and, and began to seek him a little bit more, I began to get more confident in myself because I now know the love that God has for me. And so in accepting that, you accept the goodness and the, and the worthiness that you, that you already are. But you couldn't see it before because you were so blinded by the world system. Uh, you know, there's so many people out there that has has so many different opinions about people. And if you listen to that, it can actually have an effect on you. I used to think, I used to say to myself, or and actually I've said it to my family, that I felt like I was the black sheep of the family. And I said this because... You know, there were times where, you know, you get, you, you're you around them with the holidays coming up and everybody's coupled off and they've got their own little significant others and they, you know, just all this. And here I am, I, you know, always just, for the most part, me and my children, me and my kids. And so it bothered me and it wasn't something that my, my family made me feel. I felt that way because I was looking at it in I, I guess you could say maybe even a pity party that I just felt like, wow, I'm not deserving to have somebody. So it's just going to be me and my kids. And that's how I felt. And, you know, people are so judgmental and it, it can it can really hurt you. Um, I, I have a story to share with you. And I, I did ask permission from my oldest daughter. It was um, we were talking couple. Well, we had talked about this a while ago, but, you know, and sometimes we sit around, we kind of reminisce about old things that we've talked about and I'll, you know, bring up, oh, remember when? And kind of that's what we were doing a couple of nights ago. And she said, yeah, mom, she said, I remember um, one of her friends in high school evidently had been talking about her. And for whatever reason, they just happened to come up and said, yeah, you know, me and whoever was um, talking and we just said, well, she's not fat. She's just big boned, you know, and it was some, it was so hurtful to her because this was in high school and she's been out of high school for a while. Um, and it's, it's something, if you really think about the things that people have said to you in the past and how it lingers, even from childhood over into your adult adulthood your adult stages it, it can actually um really harm you in that sense if you allow it to and people i think i don't I, you know i've heard the saying hurt uh hurt people hurt people whereas you know something's going on in their lives so they feel like they have to take it on on everybody else but it's sad that we have a society like that, that we have to go through things to, um, you know, and, and hurt people to make yourselves feel feel better. And that's usually what happens. Um, a lot of it is also stemming from things that your parents did or didn't do. And, you know, I 
it, it's just a, a vicious circle and a vicious cycle, guys. But I'm here to tell you today that if you actually put your trust, your faith, and your in in seeking God's words and His truth about you, you definitely will feel a lot better. You're not gonna the all the stuff that everybody else said about you is not gonna matter. God, you're chosen by Him. Um, that's a label that I could live with forever. You are uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, you, you're you not weak. You're strong in Him. So if you guys really put forth and just know that God loves you no matter what, He's not going to put those labels on you. And the labels that He puts on you, those are the ones that you really need to embrace. Just know that God loves you no matter what. If you're seeking um, someone like, you know, a significant other, pray about it. Ask God to show you that person because or bring, you know, align his will with with yours and or your will with his. And that way, when you that person comes into your life, you know that it's going to last. This person is not going to be fake with you. He's not going to love you for a little bit. And then next thing you know, you see somebody else walk by that looks a little bit better than you, according to the world's um, um, system. And then he leaves you because, you know, it's it's just not happening for me. You know, you're not what I wanted and it's not um, it's not going to work out. Those things that are said by other people, guys, really get people depressed um, people can get to a point where they feel like committing suicide. But if you guys really embrace the word of God and know all the truths about you according to God and what he sees and what he believes, I guarantee you, you will feel a lot better. I just wanted to share that with you just because... Um, again, I know that for a long time that I, I did, I put labels even on myself. I, I, I just was not, you know, I, I had low self-esteem for a very long time. But since I've started to get um, closer to God and having a better and closer relationship with him, I feel more confident in myself. And it's something that I had been searching for a long time, but not in the right place. But once I, I made up in my mind that I'm going to go all in and, and commit myself um, and just really seek God's face. It it changes you. It really does, you guys. And, and know that God truly loves you. He loves you unconditionally. So all the all the world's love is not is it doesn't compare. I want you guys to know that it does not compare in any sense of the way. Know that you are loved by God and that's who you should be trying to please and not tr not trying to please everybody else because you want to fit in. You know, I want to I, I want to fit in where I can get in. That's not going to work. It doesn't work that way. And if it does, it's only for a little bit. And then next thing you know, again, you're going to be off to yourself by yourself because it it doesn't that. It's the world system, and the world system is going to fail you. It's not something that um, is going to last forever. But if you commit yourself to God, I, I'm serious. I'm a t I'm walking testimony right now that once you do that, your confidence, um, your eyes will be open to things that you couldn't see before. You know, just your hunger is is um, for the things of God is going to increase, which is better for you because what's happening is that you're changing, and and God's going to see that you're really seeking Him, so He's going to bless you with all your desires. He's He's not going to you know stay around for just a little bit like most friends do. You get into an argument or whatever the case may be, and then. They're not, he's, they're not talking to you anymore. That doesn't help it happen with God. God is a faithful God. So I just want you guys to remember that um, when you're feeling down, just try saying a little prayer, even if it's just a little bit. All you need is a mustard seed of faith, guys, and God will do the rest. Just put your trust in Him, and, and I guarantee you, you will see a difference. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, 
go ahead and close out for today, guys. I do want to say a little prayer with you, and then we'll go from there, okay? Father God, I thank you for blessing me with this uh, this word today, Father God, just that I share it with your people in truth, Father God. Lord, I pray and ask that you um, cast down any labels that are attached to your people today, Father God. Lord, that the word that I spoke today, that you receive the glory for this, Father God. That all the people that are in the sound of my voice, Father God, that have been, they, that they are blessed by this word, Father God. That they seek your face and, and see the goodness of you, Father God. That they're not allowing the world's labels to, to define them, Father God. I just pray and ask that you open up the windows of heaven, Father God, and rain down blessings on your people. Thank you, Father God, for blessing us and for, for giving us this opportunity, Father God. Thank you for allowing me to speak to your people in truth and in spirit. In the name of Jesus, I praise your holy name. Amen. All right, guys. I will see you next week. And you, until then, you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.